Hey, Jacob. Yeah, Kyle. Do you have any ideas for this week? Hmm. Not off the top of my head. I mean, we kind of like used literally everything we had last week, so I'm kind of interested. We haven't really made a music video yet. What would we even make one about? I don't know. Do you have any ideas? I have got an idea. Very cool. Feeling my hunger starting to grow. Me and my stomach begging for more. Oh, pepperoni, I love you so. My sauce, it tastes you right before you go. Let me off my feet in the light of the day Eat you in ever fast or slow Don't give a damn by GMO Feeling my hunger start to grow Me and my stomach begging for more Oh, pepperoni, I love you so. My saucy tasty rabbit fully grown. Yeah. Before Rome is girl. To the dozen of you watching on public access and all of our close friends and parents live streaming, hello and welcome back to the agenda. I'm Faye Fossbender. And I'm Demetrius Hammett. Demetrius, can you believe it's already snowing? Yes, I can. It's November. Geez, why do people always pretend to be so surprised by routine weather patterns? Okay, man, are you okay? Who, me? Yes. Yeah, I'm fine. It's just, you think some things are permanent, that they'll stick around for you throughout the seasons and be there for comfort and companionship. Oh man, that sounds serious. Did something with a relationship happen or something? What? No. Starbucks stopped serving the pumpkin cream cold brew. Oh, okay. I thought you were upset about something serious and not, you know, utterly ridiculous. So. Oh, sweet nectar, I took your personal nature for granted and shall never taste thou upon my lips again. Okay, we're going to stop this before it gets, well, it's already gone too far, but how about we take a look at some readers? 
Last week, one-third of the emo trinity, My Chemical Ronance, announced that they will be playing a reunion show this coming December in Los Angeles. It's time to unpack all of your Hot Topic merch from 2008 and rehash childhood traumas that you have since attributed to these bands after blasting their music in your ears to drown out the sounds of your parents fighting. Shane Dawson has finally uploaded his new, highly anticipated YouTube docuseries on makeup guru Jeffree Star. It's now time for everyone to forget what Shane allegedly did to his cat and time for everyone to waste their time on the mediocre storyline that will more than likely be over-dramatized. People all over the globe are painting their faces like Joaquin Phoenix's Joker and protesting issues surrounding corrupt governments and political systems. This ain't no joke. Get it? Because it's called the Joker. <laughs> I'm genuinely scared. <laughs> Former Republican Representative Joe Walsh has come out against Fox News, stating that the media outlet is lying to Americans about the impeachment inquiry. Oh, really? Fox News and lying? Who would have guessed? Fox News tells you the truth in the same way my mom tells me my goldfish is just sleeping, and that I should go play with my friends while she runs some errands. Houston Texan quarterback Deshaun Watson was kicked in the face by a cleat during a game last week. But this week, he said he was completely healed. His secret? A Popeye's chicken sandwich, which I guess has healing powers now. Doctors hate him. A man was killed in Hawaii after falling into a, quote, lava tube located on his property. Who can blame him, though? That's always the way I lose in that one level of Super Mario Brothers. As many of you know from paying attention to your local news, Niagara Falls had a harsh storm on the night of Halloween. The Iron Scow, a cargo vessel, had been lodged in its rocks for 101 years, but has finally been washed loose. It didn't go over the edge or anything, but it moved 150 feet. Airbnb announced that they will begin to crack down on scams via their housing website. That reminds me, if anyone is looking to stay at Kent, I'm renting out my place. The address is 123 Joe Mama Lane, and the starting price is 10000 a night. Let me know. Hang on tight for a few seconds, though. We'll be right back. Donating it to Goodwill may be the most incredible of all. Your donations help fund job placement and training for people in your community, which means your stuff can be more powerful than you think. Donate stuff, create jobs. As aforementioned, emo band My Chemical Romance announced a reunion show that will recur on December 20th in Los Angeles. This has awakened many past fans of the band, as this band seemingly had a great impact on people of all ages. A few of these people have not lost touch with their roots to the band and have been die-hard fans even after their split. Here today to talk about the reunion is self-proclaimed emo lord, Jordan Audia. Thanks for joining us today, Jordan. Of course. It's my pleasure. Anything to get, to, anything to get the band to notice me, you know? Right. So, how are you feeling about this reunion? Believe me, Faye, I am more ecstatic than this than anything in life. I mean, I haven't felt these emotions since Panic! at the Disco's last good album, and that was in like 2013. Ever since then, I've just been hanging on a thread with no good music in my life. At all. Where's it at? I understand. So, how long have you been a fan of My Chemical Romance? Ever since their first album, Too Weird to Live, too rare to die. 
Wasn't that released in 2002, though? Yeah. What, what about it? You were only, like, two years old when that came out. Okay, one, age is just a number. If I'm old enough to pee, then I'm old enough for me. Or something like that. Second, I didn't even name the correct album. I just wanted to coax you. Anyways, I swear to God, I will bring the power of the Killjoys and Gerard Way himself onto you if you question my dedication. I know everything about this band. More than you probably know about your own mother. I wasn't saying that at all. I was just saying it seems a bit far-fetched that you've been listening to this band since you were two Everyone years. always tells me that, and I am sick of it. I swear to God, I have been there since day one. I have every piece of merch, every song memorized by heart, and every fact known about each of the members. You know what? I almost have nothing to lose now. I have been waiting for this comeback for years. Ever since all these emo bands have been quitting music or selling out, yes, I'm looking at you, Brendan Urie. I have had nothing to look forward to. Now that My Chemical Romance is back, I finally have something great in my life. Everyone told me it was never gonna happen. Well, look where we are now, Mom. Yeah, I'm looking at you. You are wrong. Mom, if you're watching, which I know you're not, please, for the love of God, let me go see My Chemical Romance and stop texting me. You owe this to me. Killjoys, rise up! I apologize for what I said before. I didn't know that you felt so deeply about this music. It's okay. Sorry, I just have so much pent-up rage from my traumatic childhood problems. You know how no one understands me and... Oh, my attachment issues. <laughs> I'm so alone. Right. The agenda will be right back. All right. What's up, gangsters and spanksters? It's your boy Garrett here, and I'm here to give you all a PSA about college frat culture and what's frat and what's not frat, my guys. Let's get into it. I'm a member of Ligma Sigma Chi at Kent State University. So, how long can I do a keg stand? 33 seconds to be exact. And I can shotgun about six and a half claws in that same amount of time. Can't finish your 40? I'm here to help. So, now that we've gotten to know each other quite a bit, I wanna give you some tips on how to be frat and how to not be frat. Well, to start off easy, Baker Mayfield, that's frat as shit. Class? Not a fucking chance, bro. The only class we attend is Darty 101. Girls? That's frat. Girls on Saturday? Not frat. The only thing Saturdays are for, my guys, is the boys, football, and jewels, all right? Roll flashes. If you're not walking around with PBR in one hand, jewel in the other hand, and you're stand not standing up in Dick Stadium, watching your flashes beat the Crimson Tide, it's not frat, bro. Wait, not frat, dude. The only thing you're gonna be lifting with those skinny little arms is gonna be a 30 rack and natty. Quiz time. Hawaiian shirts, are they frat or are they not frat? Yes or no? Ding, ding, ding. If you guess yes, you're kind of right. Because if it's not Saturday, Hawaiian shirts always appropriate for the darties and they're always a good move. Now, if it is Saturday, you better be making sure that you're pulling out your Kent State Golden Flashes football jersey. Roll flashes.
McDonald's CEO Stephen Easterbrook was fired earlier this week. Reports say Easterbrook was having an affair with an employee. To talk about this scandal, we welcome the myth, the man, the legend, Steve Easterbrook. Thanks for having me tonight, man, and congrats on surpassing Saturday Night Live as the number one sketch comedy show on TV. Thanks, Steve. I can't and won't speak for anyone else in the cast, but I work extremely hard on this show. Some might say I'm actually the hardest worker. Others might say that we are trying to impeach Kyle and Jacob as the producers so that I can become the sole producer. But anyway, is it okay if I call you Steve? Oh, for sure, for sure. Is it okay if I call you Big D? No, it's not. So these are some pretty heavy allegations put on you. You lost your job. You're all over the news. Your three children probably don't love you. Do you want to defend yourself or maybe debunk these rumors? Oh, no, it's not a rumor. I did indeed have an affair with that woman. Oh. Yeah. Did you know that it would cost you your job? Oh, yeah, for sure, for sure, man. So why did you do it? Bro, have you seen this chick? I have not. Uh, 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 uh. Huh? Oh. Hmm. What? Oh, it's nothing. Why are you talking like that? It's just... Uh-huh. She ain't that hot. What do you mean she ain't that hot? Like, she's aight. Maybe a solid six, maybe a seven on a good day. Are you kidding me? Nah, I'm being for real. She's definitely not a 7. That girl right there is a hard 9.75. You're tripping. I'm not. R2. I'm not. Come on, man. Hey, Faye, come check this out. Yeah, look at this. What would you rate this girl out of 10? I don't condone speaking about women like this, but like probably a 6. A 6? Yeah, maybe a 6. Point Four two seven. She's a ten. Mm. Now nah, you're tripping. <laughs> no, you're tripping. You, you got both tripping. You know, I don't have to put up with this. The blurb offered me to come on their show. Come on, man. The blurb. What? The next thing you're gonna tell me is that the blurb isn't the hottest entertainment show in all of Ohio? Bro, it ain't even the hottest entertainment show in Portage County. I'm out of here. The agenda will be back after these messages. Hey, you! Yeah, you! My name is Bobby Fox, my boy, McGill McCutty. There's two things I hate in the world, and that's publicity stunts and Derek Jeter. <laughs> so I'm here to tell you to come on down to Bobby Fox, my boy, McGill McCutty. Why can't I eat, eat, eat apples and bananas? 
support the Feeding America nationwide network of food banks to help provide meals to those in need. Join us at feedingamerica.org. Hello and welcome back. Now, as many of you are certainly aware, and as a stomach ache I purchased on sale keeps reminding me, Halloween was last week. You all know what that means. It's Christmas time. It's the time of year where we all pretend to like eggnog, argue with our families, and get migraines from all the clashing red and green. But the worst part, by far, is the Christmas music. There are 10 months out of the year where we don't listen to sleigh bells, a cappella, or screechy little children, and it's on purpose. Yet every year they play it earlier and earlier. If I have to hear those kids from Glee sing Last Christmas one more time, I'm going to lose it. So we here at The Agenda decided to seek out an inside voice in the music industry to get some insight into the holiday music phenomenon. Unfortunately, we only know the one guy. Hi, everybody! It's me again! They asked me not to return, and they come crawling back! Everything's coming up to birth! It sure is. Hey, Chris, is that the same outfit you wore last time? I, 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 yeah, this is my outfit. Your outfit. All right, so tell us. How are you, writer and recorder of a hit 80s love ballad? Lady in red, uh, it, 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 it still holds up. Lady in white, oh, well, that was for weddings. Still are, still, still, still workshopping, still throwing around lady in floral pattern. I got, I got people interested though. It's, it's, it's hey, it's, yeah. That's just the life of Krista Berg, baby. I, I thought about, I, I, I thought about uh, dude in yellow, you know, for the uh, discerning homosexual. But then I was like, nah, uh, uh, women, am I right? Oh, uh, yeah. <laughs> totally. So how does that all qualify you to talk about Christmas music? Well, well, well it's, 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 it's interesting you should bring that up. Did you not expect me to bring it up? Oh, who knows what to expect when a couple of old pals like us get together. We're not friends. Classic. Your last name. Uh, but uh, I actually, I, 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 I have some experience in the in the in the Christmassy, Christmassy corner of the music globe. Sure. I made a Christmas song. Let me guess. Old man in red. No, no, that uh, would have been would have been good. I made lady in a tree skirt. Excuse me. <laughs> a lady in a tree skirt is looking jolly. Ho ho ho, she says. Uh, uh, like I said, yours would have been uh, would have been better. But uh, hey 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 hey, have hey. you ever hey? about joining the music industry. I, I know a guy. Is it you? It's me. <laughs> <laughs> you know me so well, that's why we're best friends. We're not friends. Actually. Yeah, we are. Uh, no. And what, 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 what better way to celebrate and commemorate our friendship than the smoky smooth uh, pipes of Mariah Carey? I, I don't want a lot uh, uh, for Christmas. Or Hanukkah, because I watched that episode. Hanukkah, Hanukkah. Hanukkah is the festival of lights, much like the light our, 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 our friendship brings into my life. My cold, empty, meaningless life. Does that answer your question? Don't think I asked a question, Chris. <laughs> sure you did, bud. You are severely overvaluing our relationship. What the heck, man? Let me have this. What? I, 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 I have so little in my life, hey. And it's so hard to be alone on the holiday. But it's not even the holidays yet, Chris. Oh! Oh! So I can't be sad! Is that it? No, that's not what I mean. This is just like high school all over again. Uh-oh. <laughs> oh! Develop a 
addiction to prescription strength Tylenol. Yeah, that's what I thought. <laughs> oh, Krista Berg, we're friends. <laughs> You're just saying, yeah. Me? Uh, Never. Uh, yeah, you are. All right. <laughs> Lady in red is dancing with me, cheek to cheek. <laughs> There's nobody here. It's just you and me where I want to be. I hardly know. Oh, there we go. Just walking by my side. Mm -hmm. Oh, we are friends. <laughs> yep, and in other news, all musicians have died. There's no music anymore, so we don't ever have to talk about it ever again. <laughs> Good news for me, too. Look out, L.A. Here comes viable last chance Krista Berg. Merry holidays, every person. Merry holidays, Krista Berg. Well, everyone, that's it. Another week under our belts. Join us next week when I pee my pants for the whole world to see. I love you all. Good night. Make sure to follow us on Twitter at The Agenda on TV, too. I'm Faye Fossbender. And I'm Demetrius Hammond. Have a good night, Portage County. I know this isn't any fun to talk about, but we should. Okay, so who's gonna do what? I'll pack the dead batteries. Great. I'll only put what I don't need into a duffel bag. Perfect, that's totally unhelpful. No problem. Meanwhile, I will try to comfort everyone by speaking in a calm voice. And I'll try to get the generator going without any gas. Oh, let's not forget the cell phones, which probably won't work. Right. And who is going to handle supplies? I can forget to do a list for us. Thanks, pal. Well, I think we couldn't be any less prepared. I'm proud of you guys. Talk to your kids about who to call, where to meet, what to pack. Visit ready.gov kids for tips and information.